first half following an injury to Axel Schulberg. Like I say, down for now. Pats have got in behind. Mulraney available in support as they pull this one back across. As the Pats take the lead. Well, they began the second half well and they have been rewarded. Lonergan with the celebrations. And it was a wonderful move, Brian. Yeah, well, Redmond said they played two early ones in behind that was the third early one in behind the fence Lonergan looked like he, he nudged uh, Mueller off the ball I, I, I wonder did the referee give a free kick takes his time here looks up is he shooting bit of a cross shot enough to beat the goalkeeper but Mulraney makes sure Mulraney makes sure it goes into the net he's the one claiming it here you can see Lonergan heroics last week in the cup it's his goal First line clearance by Linus. Lonergan up against Lonergan. Lonergan's on his way again. And Lonergan chips the goalkeeper. 2 0 Pats. He can't stop scoring. Two for Lonergan, two for Pats. The celebrations tell its own tale. St. Pats are flying it. And so too is their number 10. Well, same saying. Pats played around the back a little bit. Threw the dark on. Back to Linus. Long boot forward. Over the top. And Lonergan just gets away between the centre half again, he was stuck at that time, wasn't able to deal with him, doesn't look like a huge fella, but showed a bit of strength to hold him on, what about that for Kilnes, ball hopping, goalkeeper out of the line, takes a bit of control on it, gets a lovely little touch, there's the tussle, now he's on to it, now he times it, look at that, inside the foot, beautiful, bounce on the line and up into the net, well done Tommy Lonnie, and two good goals. Fourth league goal of the season for Tommy Lonergan, who, as we said, scored 12 for UCD last season. A deaf little finish. Two wonderful goals from him personally. He's on a hat-trick now, and Pats are really on the way. Wonderful finish. How about this? This would be uh, quite the way to celebrate your 16th, yes, 16th birthday. The birthday boy with what will be the final kick of the game. Mason Melia stands up to take the penalty for St. Pat's and scores it. The birthday boy scores a third goal for St. Pat's. All three points are going to go to St. Pat's. And Brian, in terms of how you celebrate your 16th birthday, that's not bad, scoring a senior goal for St. Pat's. I don't know. This, this lad's going to be a player. This lad has a massive future in the game. I don't say that lightly about... 15 year old turning 16 today but he has great quality i said he lost the ball a couple of times tonight in areas he, he shouldn't lose it then but he's he, he's a player i've seen him scoring a few goals here at the, the, the first time against him against wexford in the league cup match um, scored against ucd took a calm, a calm penalty in up and dirty under severe pressure it turned out to be the winning penalty that wraps up the game tonight for him. I don't know how long he's going to be here in the future, but we should enjoy him when he's here. Look at this for calmness. Look at this for accuracy, finish, towards the way, joy. And that, that should wrap her up for Pats. Very, very important win for the Saints tonight. Great job. <laughs> Murphy is here from SSE Electricity to present you with your Player of the Match award. It's over a month since he's played here in Richmond Park. It, the game was in the balance all the way through. It was really tight. It was a great contest. How good does it feel to get that win in front of your home fans? It's unbelievable. Obviously, we've been on the road for nearly, I think, 42 days, I think. So uh, to come back here into Richmond and pack out, it's unbelievable to get the win and the three points. And we know how massive it is for uh, for us and for our momentum and the fans and it's just unbelievable it's a great moment for the te team and the club and the fans yeah. you got the winner last week you got in for two tonight particularly the confidence for that second goal yeah. what has you in such good form at the moment 
I think just just goals goals just gets me in the mood, and I think any striker can say the exact same thing. Once like you get a bit of momentum and a bit of the goals, just the chances just present themselves. And thankfully, I took the two tonight. And finally, look at uh, results went your way elsewhere tonight. You have your uh, game in hand against Drogheda on Monday. If you win that, you're only three points behind Rovers in the table. Does the title race on? Uh, I wouldn't say that yet, but I just think we just need to focus Monday on dr- against Drogheda and just take it one game at a time and just see what happens. Right, John, look, that was a, pr- a proper game, a real challenge. How satisfying was it to get the performance and the win tonight? Yeah, obviously delighted to come out with the three points, I thought. Um, Dundalk first half caused us problems. I knew they would. You know, they're, they're a good side. And I think the, the result the weekend against uh, Galway, I knew they'd, they'd have a response. And they certainly gave that. And as I said, they caused a few problems. I thought the lads, um, you know, managed that at times well on the pitch. And, and the times that we got through them, we, we then lacked that final, final kill, killer pass at the, uh, the last little bit. And um, delighted for Tommy Lonergan. Obviously, he's had to... Um, you know, be patient and wait for for game time and wait for minutes. And he's he's obviously come on the weekend there and scored the winner of Harps and, and scored two today. And um, you know, delighted for him. Yeah, and just because it was in the balance all the way through and it was really tight at stages in that game, what do you feel gave you the edge tonight? Um, I think you know they they tried to press really high and aggressive, and I think we were trying to, to play in front of them. And I think the times that we played beyond them, um, we, we caused them real problems. I think you know when I looked at their team, I have seen the team with, with Greg Slogger. He's a good player, but um, you know he's a midfielder playing a centre back. We had to test him a little bit more, and then when we did that in the second half, we punished them. Um, and then I thought we were we were comfortable until until uh, Daniel Kelly pops up again with a goal against us. He seems to have a habit of scoring against us this year so um, you know it made it a little bit more nervy and then young Mason obviously on his birthday coming on winning a penalty and then stepping up and, and slotting it away.